Michael Weatherly is most famously known for his role as Anthony Dinozo in CBS's police procedural TV series, NCIS. However, something happened to Weatherly on the set of one of NCIS's spin-offs that made him scream in pain. So what could make a veteran actor scream out in pain on set? Also, what should we be expecting from the remaining episodes of NCIS Season 20? Keep watching to get the answers to all these questions. We begin with what is NCIS? NCIS. NCIS is an American police procedural series that tells the story of a team of agents from the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. It explores their relationships with each other and their personal lives as they work together to solve crimes. In real life, the NCIS is the main law enforcement arm of the U.S. Navy and investigates crimes involving the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. The activities of the NCIS in the series mirror that of its real-life counterpart. The series is created by Donald Belisario and Don McGill. It is produced by CBS Studios and Belisario Productions. NCIS has starred Mark Harmon, Sasha Alexander, Michael Weatherly, Cody DiPablo, and Brian Dietzen. Others are Wilmer Valderrama, Katrina Law, Gary Cole, Deanna Reasonover, and Sean Murray. NCIS has been a top five show since its sixth season. It was even voted America's favorite TV show in 2011. The show is currently in its 20th 20th season. A spin-off of JAG itself, NCIS has produced four spin-offs. These spin-offs are NCIS Los Angeles, NCIS New Orleans, NCIS Hawaii, and NCIS Sydney. Up next, what should we look forward to in NCIS Season 20? America's favorite TV show has returned for its 20th season. Season 19 ended with Agent Alden Parker, Gary Cole, being framed for murder. In Season 20 Episode 1, Parker goes into hiding, while his team frustrates the efforts of the FBI investigators. They also work to discover who from Parker's past has a reason to frame him. Although the issue has not been resolved yet, we can look forward to its resolution in the coming episodes. There will also be a crossover with NCIS Hawaii in the current season. We have already seen a little of that in the first episode, with two characters from NCIS's sister series appearing in episodes 1 of season 20. We can also expect the show to focus heavily on the personal lives of the characters. In our opinion, this is what makes police shows interesting. A police show that only focuses on solving cases will get monotonous and boring with time. Next, who is joining and leaving the show? There are a few major shakeups to the cast of the show. Mark Harmon, who plays the role of Special Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs and has been a main character in the show since the first season, left at the end of season 19. To say that he'd be missed is an understatement. However, there is currently no plan to replace him. There is also every possibility of him returning to the show at a later date. Joining the cast is Terry Polo. Terry Polo will take on the role of Vivian Kolchak, Parker's ex-wife and a former FBI agent who joined the Defense Department as a paranormal investigator after leaving the FBI after their divorce. The first time she will be seen will be in the season 19 finale, and she will then make occasional appearances Appearances throughout season 20. Next, who is Michael Weatherly? Born on July 8, 1968, Michael Manning Weatherly Jr. is an American actor, producer, director, and singer best known for portraying Anthony Dinozo in the NCIS 2003-2016 television series and Logan Kale in Dark Angel 2000-2002. through 2002. He is also playing the lead role, Dr. Jason Bull, in the courtroom drama Bull. He was also in Me Wally Sparks. Finally, why did he scream on the set of NCIS Los Angeles? Michael Weatherly claimed that his appearance on NCIS Los Angeles as a guest star made a lasting impression during an interview he conducted with his NCIS Los Angeles co-star Eric Christian Olsen for the talk. Weatherly revealed that he accidentally slammed his thumb in a door during a car sequence while discussing shooting scenes with Olsen. Kenzie, Daniela Rua, and Deeks were having a scene in the front seat. Now, as an actor, a polite actor, I had to get out of the car during the scene and close the door. So I was trying to do it, and I put my thumb right into the door, Weatherly said. He managed to control his emotions until the sequence ended. But as soon as that happened, he raced up to the person operating the boom microphone and asked them to turn the sound off so he could scream in anguish. Coincidentally, that was Weatherly's first and last appearance as his character 
here on NCIS Los Angeles. However, now that Bull is over, things could change. Weatherly could now return to NCIS. According to many fans, whether Mark Harmon or not is part of the cast. Stephen D. Binder, the show's executive producer, believes that before that conversation starts, Weatherly will need some time to recover. In related news, Daily Show correspondent Roy Wood Jr. reacts to Trevor Noah's surprise announcement. Trevor Noah decided to end his seven-year tenure as host of The Daily Show on September 29th. Not only viewers and fans, but also staff members and executives were shocked to learn this when the South African native made his decision public. While the crowd reacted to the news with sadness, it also inspired an outpouring of support from fans. However, one of his correspondents had some harsh comments for the 38-year-old comic. Roy Wood Jr., a comedian who has been a correspondent on The Daily Show since Trevor Noah took over as host in 2015, showed reluctance to speak to him during the episode that aired on October 4th. He said, I'm scared to talk to you right now because last time you and I had a conversation, you decided to leave the show. I shouldn't even be talking to you. You are liable to leave during the next commercial break. Although no official leaving date has been given, it is reasonable to suppose the comedian will wait until producers have found a replacement host for him before bidding adieu to the program that has served as his home for seven exciting years. Fans will have time to adjust to the end of the Noah period because, as he stated, he won't be leaving anytime soon. Up next, Chicago PD fans are livid after Halstead's bizarre season 10 exit. Jesse Lee Soffer's final episode as a cast member of Chicago PD has aired, and viewers are bidding Jay Halstead farewell. Following the actor's leaving becoming public knowledge in August, viewers started posting their dismay online. Only after season 10, episode 2, when Jay seemed out of character and unlike the man many had seen develop since season 1, did things get worse. In episode 2, Haley, Tracy Spiridakos, and Jay had a significant lack of synchronicity that you wouldn't anticipate from a newlywed pair. The inevitable breakup looked to be being set up by the show, and it has now been depicted on screen. Episode 3 opens with Jay being more different from himself than ever. He is walking in Voight's, Jason Begay, shadow, making false promises in the box, engaging in no-knocks, and lying non-stop to Haley. It's not immediately clear why he's acting this way, and after his peculiar actions in Episode 2, things just get worse. Later, after breaking into a warehouse without a warrant, Jay kills a suspect. Any officer who does this should lose their badge. Voight and Haley start making plans for a cover-up right away, but Jay isn't interested. Jay leaves the group and joins the army to battle cartels in Bolivia. He does all of this while keeping Haley outside the loop, and you can imagine how upset she is. The surprising thing about this is that they continue to be together, despite his informing her he must leave that same day. The way Jay's narrative is resolved is so absurd, and fans were indignant on Twitter. Some other Chicago PD viewers chose to put their sadness aside and sent Soffer their gratitude for his commitment to the show as well as admiration for his performance. Others want to see him come back eventually and reunite with Haley. However, we wouldn't advise anyone to get their hopes up on that front. A few fans also pushed for a spinoff with Jay in Bolivia. Finally, the Rings of Power showrunners explain the reasoning behind their slow burn Sauron reveal. The first season of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power on Amazon Prime is coming to a close. Numerous characters from J.R.R. Tolkien's mythology are introduced in the series, which also explains the causes of the conflict that will plague Middle-earth in later years. One figure, however, is left out of the show's narrative, the evil Sauron who will eventually attempt to dominate all of Middle-earth with the One Ring, and who will finally turn out to be Frodo and Bilbo's mortal enemy. The waiting game surrounding Sauron has been deliberate on the part of the showrunners for The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, according to a report by Patrick McKay and J.D. Payne in The Hollywood Reporter. Before introducing Sauron, the producers want the audience to connect with the main characters and become invested in their struggles. What are you looking for? forward to in season 20 of NCIS. Do you think Mark Harmon and Michael Weatherly will return to the show? Leave your answers in the comment section.